Hello, uh, here from my hot sweaty car. I'm at school run, so I've got just a few minutes and have just finished my work day and thought I would uh, just give you some thoughts that I was having about sensitive children because I work with a whole range of kids and a lot of the kids with whom I work are, are what you would label as sensitive kids and I love sensitive kids. I love deep feelers. Um, yes, it means when we're talking about the resilience to Discussion that everyone wants them to be more resilient and we do want our children to be resilient. We don't want them crying at the drop of a hat over things that don't match what they're going through. But I wanted to just uh, bring to all of our attention again, as I, I need to do every day in my work, uh, to remind the children who are sensitive that this is not a bad trait, that they feel things deeply and that when they see that things are wrong and difficult in their life, um, that, that doesn't mean they have some kind of flaw that things are upsetting them and hurting them and 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 when um, an injustice occurs or when something uh, happens that they don't feel comfortable with the fact that they tune into their emotions is a good thing so I've been saying that to lots of the kids that I've been seeing today who've come to me and said I just feel really sad when I'm not with mum or I feel really upset when someone doesn't want to play with me and I'm like well what other feelings is there to have in those moments of sadness other than what you're feeling and all we need to do with those feelings is first notice that they're happening and then learn how to cope with them and I tell them that every year coping with those feelings or every day uh, we learn we get better at, at managing our emotions and uh, so that's the first part the next part I I think I put in the title was, well, what does that mean for resilience? We've got to remember when we're teaching resilience, which is what I do every day, uh, is that our kids do want to be more resilient. Who doesn't? Feeling resilient is a great feeling to have. So when we approach this, let's approach it with them with this belief in them and their genuine desire to be more resilient, just like every other person. Our children want their lives to work out. Our students do. Every client with whom I work wants life to feel good and feel hopeful and feel like they're capable. So we just remind them of that and we tell them, look, this is a really hard problem to have or this is a hard thing to learn and grown-ups find this stuff hard and you're doing a great job and it won't always be hard and so we can still be sensitive and resilient at the same time we just need to teach coping skills to our sensitive ones and let them keep those sensitivities because they are great navigating forces for them our emotions are messengers i need to hop out of the car so my kids know that i'm here and it's really hot um thank you for listening if you've got questions about sensitive children and resilience pop them in the uh, comments box and i will do my very best uh, to help you with it i wish you all a beautiful afternoon. See ya.